back making milkshakes here in Papa's Freezeria. Now it has been like four days. I did watch Chib play a little bit. I may have forgotten how to play. Just give me a little bit of time, okay? We'll, 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 we'll remember the milkshakes we were making. Chib did teach us some incredible techniques on his long stream as well. Namely, you can spray the foam all in the middle and it makes a perfect dome on top. By the way, it's crazy to me people keep calling this a children's game. Just because children like enjoy... By the way, don't even get me started. You motherfuckers will be like, I can't believe he's playing a children's game. I can't believe you motherfuckers all went to the movie theater and made the Super Mario Brothers movie open to $350 million. You're taking seats away from little eight-year-old kids' birthday parties and stuff like that. Then you're going to say... Wait, is it paused? Because we are getting a phone call here. Your ass is going to... I paid money to play a kid's game on my own time. I'm not taking anybody else's lunch in the interim period. Okay, put this... Can I have a phone call, please? Please? I'm just saying, you got to apply the same level of criticism to yourself that you apply to me. But I already know that there's no shot that that's happening. Okay, give me this. I, the only thing that makes this a kid's game is the aesthetics. If you made the art shittier and called it Fire Emblem Milkshake Heroes, people would be like, it's not a kid's game. It's a game for general audiences. But because it's like looks like a flash game, people are like, it's for kids. You don't even see you don't even know what you're talking about. I've already got my tickets fucked up too. Hang on here. Did you see what you did to me? I don't even think I put an alarm on this one. That's this one. That's this one. Okay, pull pull me off of this. Thank you. It's perfect. Put this one back up top. You want a large corn strawberry smoothie? I'm going to put you on position one with an alarm. And then let's just come over here for a second. You're on position one. You're over here. Want some rocket foam. I should do it much closer. That looks horrendous. Okay, don't worry. It's not getting over blended. Don't, you don't, it, doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be that serious. Cherry bombs. The stars and stripes. Little spillage, little spillage. Cherry berry cherry. Okay, send it out there. Misa is so happy. You got a 99. Not bad for my first one back. Can I speak to you real quick? Take your order. Banana butter. Easy mode. Okay. Take me back to the blendo. Blendo's not ready to go yet. You are this one. Give me uh, pink Hollywood. Plum sauce, usually for chicken fingers, as chat would know. Sprinkle me. I mean, this one's looking like a hundred, unless I made it, made her wait too long. This could be a hundred. <sighs> oh, hey, yo, hey, Aaron. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you, thank you. Hang on, just everybody relax a little bit. I gotta get this banana butter out here. That's a medium banana butter. It uses Reese's cups. It uses banana syrup. Can you guys just chill for a second? I mean, like I'm just one person operating this entire store, okay? Now, you are a regular Hollywood. He's absolutely right. It works without a hitch. It works every time. That looks amazing. Give me some cherry bombs. No spillage. What is this? Pomegranate seeds is like a $75 smoothie. 
cookie, cherry, cookie, send it. That's guaranteed. I'm gonna pull you off first. Get, get it out of there! Get it out of there! I'm gonna take your order. You're the last order of the day. Okay, now, number five goes first. You want a medium moon brownie? Put me on number one. Set an alarm. You want a medium cake brownie. Cake chocolate. I'm embarrassed. Is it my, my nearly perfect day. Ruined over this. Then the banana butter. I don't remember the banana butter. But we can infer it's a white Hollywood. It's regular chocolate. It's peanut sauce. And then three bananas. Let's see. Looks like a damn Triceratops. I'll take it. 1.5x tips on that. You're ready to go. And your moon brownie. You can kind of infer it from the picture. Your uh, brown Hollywood. Toenail scrapings. And a single Oreo. So lightly placed. Right there. Just what the doctor ordered. It's gonna blend into shit, man! It's gonna be fucking cream by the time he's delivering! Why can't I- Oh! Whatever, I don't even care. Just get out of my store. And then give me some dookie dust. You just you shouldn't be in my store this late. We were closed. Be gone. 87. I'll live with that. I mean at 87, it's still well, it's like four and a half stars out of five. That's no problem. Today's tips $48, total tips $145, weekly pace $135, and then this is what it's all about. Oh no. I was so, I was so insulting when Chibli was playing this. And now I've got to beat the stupid allegations myself. I can figure this out. Your first move must be left. Let me uh, just let me think about it for a second. I think it's I I I this is the we're back at the start. <laughs> I gotta get here. How how's my ass gonna get there? It's not possible. Maybe it's very possible. Maybe it's the most possible thing that's ever happened. Ow! Oh, three-tone polo, three-tone polo. Can't be done. So that's it. It, it, it simply can't be done. Can't be done. There's no way to do it. Can't be done. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
that might have ruined. Oh, maybe it didn't ruin it. Maybe it did. Maybe that was the right. It's the right path. They won't let me go that way. Okay. No, I'm. I think I'm screwed. Just send me down. I was just bashing into things. There you go. This makes perfect sense. Oh no, I got my... <laughs> Retrace the steps starting at the end? That makes sense. Hang on, it's payday though? I'm, I'm too rich to care about slider escape. That got really hard. Give me the one where you just shoot the ball through the hole. All right, Stevie Nicks. Whippa. Medium marshmallow. Little cherry on top. So 0.1 servings of fruits and vegetable. Okay, give me a medium. Marshmallow. Ice cream. And we're good to go. Why do you call it a Hollywood? A Hollywood, I believe, is a slang term for an enormous line of cocaine. Which is why, anytime I use whipped cream, it just evokes the image. I thought it was a joke about semen. Yeah, because you guys think everything is a joke about semen. Like, if you don't get a joke, it's always assumed to be like some double entendre about coming. If I ever make a joke like this about something sexual, you'll know it. You'll know it immediately because all of chat will say, why is he so horny today? Okay, let me, hang on. Did we put an alarm? We didn't. Put the alarm, please. Then, Hollywood. It's beautiful. Uh, toenail crispies. Ice cream, cherry ice cream. That's gotta be 99, at worst, 99. 97 on the toppings? She is a hater. It's, it's the Subway meme. You don't like the sandwich? Lady, you made the sandwich. I know it's disgusting. You're the one who picked all the shit. My sister in Christ. By the way, many people this weekend linked me to the Subway sandwich shop um, Cadbury cream egg sandwich and said, how do you feel about this? It may surprise you. I'm for it. I would never order it myself. I'm for it because I think it's one way that Subway could possibly survive is just by recognizing that they're trash. Go like the Taco Bell route and instead of being like, oh, we're kind of like healthy as long as you never read the nutritional information, just start serving like the most insane stoner food you could ever imagine. And then people, they're not gonna respect Subway, but at the very least, if they're like intoxicated, they might be like, hell yeah, bro, go get a candy sandwich. Go get a foot long candy sandwich. <laughs> it might be a way that they could stick around. Let me out. Okay, let me see here. You want a medium? Oreo with chocolate. Oreos with chocolate. My ass getting the damn soup. What's going in the subway? Hey, what's the soup of the day? Oh, it's Jolly Rancher. Oh, that sounds good. I'll take a large. Let me get stars. Another person in my store, how dare you? Did 
This goes here. You come in. Yo, yo, I'm ready. I'm ready, Okalani. You want a banana butter? Relax. You're going to get your, your adult uh, smoothie, okay? Excuse me, I need my coffee. Yeah, can I get three Reese's peanut butter uh, swirls in it? I need my coffee before work. Shit makes me sick, man. Let me get a little white chocolate. Nut shavings. I mean, this is looking pretty good. Gorgeous. Of course, he gives the 99 to James Franco. Let me see how you're doing here. Last order, Zandra. I thought it was a pretty good spray as well. This is one of the angriest orders I've ever seen. What kind of bread is used on the Cadbury sandwich? It's Subway. So the answer is, that the, the first answer is whatever bread you want. The second answer is Italian herbs and cheese, because it's the best. Okay, you can wait a second. You want a medium strawberry banana. I mean, if Subway really wanted to cut down on, like, their own expenses, make their business better, they should just start serving Italian herbs and cheese. That's all they... They, they don't need to... Especially, like, come on, oats and honey? Who out there... And I'm sure some of you are in chat right now, so I apologize. Who out there is going oats and honey over Italian herbs and cheese? I can at the very least see that you might go... Wheat, if you're, I, obviously you're not having a healthy meal, but maybe you're trying to make it as healthy as possible once you're already locked in. I could see a plane, maybe, if you're a picky eater, but come on. Having the choice? Wow! Crab tea, crab tea. You have the choice between Italian herbs and cheese and oats and honey, and you choose the oats and honey? Check yourself, that's all I'm saying. UK also does a non sandwich. Mmm. That sounds good. Hey, can I get the, the ham sandwich on non? <laughs> yes, cheese and toasted, please. <laughs> can I have a meat, <laughs> meatball sandwich? <laughs> oh, you made my voice change. You got a meatball sandwich. Oh, what kind of bread would you like that on? I'll take that on non, please. It's the, the Mitch Hedberg joke. What kind of bread? A uh, banana. Oh, man. I don't understand the issue. I don't know, like a deli sandwich with non bread? It just seems like something you make in your house when you're, like, you have leftovers from two different meals. They don't go to it. They might taste good. It's just weird. Which is fine. Milk is weird just in and of itself, but people aren't ready for that. Okay, this is the worst game in the whole pack. I honestly have no idea who you are. This looks more coherent, though. There you go. Skinny belt. It's the same as the N.A. flatbread? Yeah, but nobody here orders shit on the flatbread. Except for, like, a breakfast sandwich. I feel like I've seen this guy eat the cakes, the cake before, so... Oh! <laughs> Small feasting table. Come on, you gotta be the America. Look at your outfit. I'm crazy, dude. How much money do we have? $330? More, more customers will order today's special. You know what? Why not? Still Jubilee. I'm going to keep my outfit on. Change the special to the new one. I suppose. Why not? Get Shannon instead. Shannon brings us something different. I don't know if I changed it. I think I might have just clicked on it and then hit start instead. 
Yep, today's special I, I just saw is the Nutter Butter. I mean, it's not, come on, it's not that big of a deal. It's okay, life, life's all right. We're just, you gotta learn to enjoy your lot in life. Whoa, they want a, they want a minimum blend though, look at that, chunky mix. I know, I know. What are these red, white, and blue cat turds? We thought they were kind of like, it's like a blended Rice Krispie treat or something. I don't know, I, I, I have no idea to be honest. Okay, that's chunky mode. The game said mulberries. Mulberries? Banana butter, I can make those in my sleep. Thank God I didn't change the special. Set an alarm. We're making this. You want the pink Hollywood? Call that the Barbie movie. You want some luau sauce, courtesy of forgetting Sarah Marshall. Some pomegranate seeds. That'll, it's an upcharge of $8. Is that okay? America sprinkles, they go really nicely. The corn syrup goes really nicely with the fresh pomegranate seeds. Little of this, little of this, little cloudberry. That's a 100 right there. Never mind. It was a little oh, it was a little non-chunky. My mistake. Dude, they love the banana butters. I can make these all day. Captain America working at Papa's Freezeria. I could make this all day. And look at this timing. That was a mouth joke. I do, I, I wish mouth would get well soon, okay? I'm gonna extend to him a courtesy he didn't extend to me. Yesterday on Discord, he sent me a message. He said, are we gaming today? I said, I can't brother, I'm sick. He said, lol, stop eating poop. Not gonna say that when I finished my Peloton ride today, looked at my phone, first tweet I saw, Malf one hour ago, sorry guys, we're not gonna be live today, I got a sore throat. I'm not gonna say that he, he Bo Horvatted himself a little bit, is he invited some comedic timing into his life? I'm just saying that's why you gotta respect comedic timing. Blueberries, pink lemonade. I get it, I get it. Oh my God, just relax. I'm not your dad, I knew your dad. By the way, can I tell you, sorry, pause. <laughs> we went through the McDonald's drive-thru yesterday. Whole family was not feeling like 100% well. We needed some food that the, um, that the baby could eat as well. She loves a happy meal, okay? Let me tell you something. Say I'll have a 10 piece number 10. You know what they said? Habanero for dipping sauce? Hab Habanero for dipping sauce? I didn't even know that was an available sauce. But first off, you come out of the pocket with, with a ridiculous question like that. I said, no. One sweet and sour, one hot mustard, please. She said, lemonade to drink? Am I at the right restaurant here? Am I at uh, Le Cordon Bleu Culinary College? I thought I was at McDonald's. Lemonade to drink? I said, no. I'll take a Coke Zero with waffle fries. It was crazy. It's, why, are you, why are you trying to guess what I want? It's not like you drive for free. It's not like you drive up to the drive-thru and they're like, welcome to McDonald's. Big Mac combo? You wait for them to order. Why are we wasting all this time where you're trying to guess what I'm gonna order? Let me just tell you. They need to get rid of those sauces? 
but maybe if they gave people the sauces they ordered, they wouldn't have an overstock problem. I'm always like one sweet and sour, one hot mustard. Open up my bag, I got, you know, a barbecue. Anyway, sorry, what were we doing here? This is our banana butter. Just use the app? No. I will not just use the app. I'm sick of all these, every single company wants me to use an app. Bro, my phone is like, I got, I got everything on this. I don't want to, McDonald's? You're not a big enough uh, part of my life for me to give you a, a place in the damn kingdom. I do my banking on this thing. You want, you want me to have a, an app for every single restaurant I've ever been to in my entire life? Just take my order at the restaurant like it's 1995. Hang on, this goes here. I got a little distracted. That app does give you a lot of 25% off deals. Listen, I'm not insulting the app. I'm insulting the drive-thru, okay? I got nothing against the damn app. I'm not your app. I knew your app. That didn't feel like a hundred to me, but I'll take it. <laughs> Pink pomegranate. Oh no, it's Anton Ego. I haven't even started making yours yet. I got no orders in the damn hopper. What am I doing? Okay, some mulberries. So you're against coding jobs? Yeah. I would say I would say in a in a general sense. Possibly, yeah. I don't know, I haven't really thought about it. Who you got tonight? Timberwolves or Lakers? I've been as you know, I'm a lifelong NBA fan. I gotta say, I I think the Lakers take it just because the Timberwolves. I mean, Rudy Gobert, somebody's gotta teach him a lesson, man. You can't be popping off like that. You can't be you know, breaking your hand or getting suspended or whatever. I mean, somebody threw a punch or something like that. I don't really know how it goes, but... He's suspended? It's good, honestly. It's, it, it, it's about time. He's got to clean up his damn act. He punched Kyle Anderson? Who's Kyle Anderson? Is he like the, the towel boy for the team? I've never heard of him before. Kyle Anderson. Look at that layering, dude. Pomegranate me, please. Beautiful. The Andersons get tickets to the games. Mr. Anderson, I am going to punch you. <laughs> is, that what, is that what Rudy Gobert said? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> a little phlegmy, a little phlegmy. I coughed in your, uh, in your freezeria. Wow, that looks like pure dog shit. My favorite clip from the matrix mr anderson i am going to punch you with my hand he likes it well, that was a pretty good day mr anderson i'm not your agent i knew your agent i'm from the matrix go inside you'll find a person Ask her her name. It's Trinity. Please give me ball game. Sunday shot. Is this... No, this, oh, this is aim trainer. Okay, I'm ready. Hit 14 baddies. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, 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 one more, one more. Oh, 
no, I got 17 of 8. We did well, we did well, we did well. We did okay. Just use your periphery. You don't even have to use your eyes. Just use your... Oh, fuck. I did it. Just use your peripheral vision. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How is this business alive? You sell like five milkshakes a day? Yeah, it's... Uh, we're in Switzerland. Have you seen it? Well, it can't be Switzerland because they're tipping. That's not an insult. I think they just don't tip in Europe, right? Unless the service is incredible. Look, I'm not coming after the Swiss. So I just, I tried to make the joke work. It didn't work. Yeah, we don't tip here. Why did I read that in Putty's voice? We don't tip here. Because we're the devils! We're the devils! <laughs> Okay, change your special. Tropical treat. Tim. Hello, Tim. Yeah, I'll have a... Um... A boneless. Wow, this is the easiest order of all time. Thank you. Oh, I already fucked it up. <laughs> Take a large, a large dookie. Uh, uh, yeah, something like that. I would say that's awesome. Yeah, Jay, you must be stoked. I'm Team Devils now. In the East, at least. I don't, honestly, in the West. A lot of NHL, Canadian NHL fans might not be super psyched about this. I would be totally fine with really anybody winning because of sports. I don't care that much, I guess, at the end of the day. I, unlike, and this is not fair, but unlike Vegas, I have respect for Seattle because I like Seattle more than I like Las Vegas as a city. Um, and also the people that live and go there so I would I would be thrilled to see Seattle do well I'm from Vancouver it's just like you know we're we're kindred spirits get the fuck off of there dude okay but then I also would love to see Edmonton win the Stanley Cup Connor McDavid is just he's too good to lose He's doing more than anybody else has done in like 20 years, dude. Like, just give him one. Give him, a, give him a dub, dude. He's doing everything. He wants a, she wants a medium, okay. They don't deserve anything. They got gifted so many first-round picks. It's not them. I don't care about the people who live in Edmonton. The only person who lives in Edmonton I care about is Connor McDavid. And his ass is like the best person in the NHL at his job. I like to see people that are good at their jobs rewarded. What is this nightmare? Speaking of which... Hey, can you make my milkshake give me the middle finger, please? This is the wrong order anyway. You're damn right about that. You're absolutely right. Well, try something new. I'll take that as an A minus in Canada. Now I gotta remember what the fuck you ordered. <laughs> No, I gotta. Okay, no, no, I know what I'm. I know what I'm doing. Okay. You got. It was probably rocket sauce. And cherry bomb. This doesn't look right. Some rocket juice. She got the tropical tree. No, no, it's something like. Uh, 
You know what? Let's just hit all the bases. Do you see the way she looked at this when it came out? <laughs> I haven't even started making this guy's yet. Ooh, still tipped. So you know the game actually takes place in America. Because if you, um, if you got bad service and you don't tip, they'll take a photo of your receipt, post it on Twitter, your ass will be dead by like 2 p.m. the next day. Okay, let me get a medium here. We can still recover a little bit. You, they, it's Tropical Treat is Blueberry Pink Lemonade. We can't do the tipping discourse again. My ass ordered food at a restaurant, got served the wrong food, gave a bad tip, and all of a sudden, A, I'm the asshole, and B, I'm responsible for the fact that some douchebag in Wyoming doesn't pay his employees well. My aunt, that, that's, that I'm getting canceled for ordering a bacon cheeseburger and getting served a quinoa salad and then I'm responsible for wealth inequality? I didn't do anything. Beautiful. Please tell me this one's right. This one's right, let's go. I know, I know, I know. Okay, just relax. You're not the only person who ordered a milkshake today. You want a tropical treat? Okay, you, you want a tropical treat? You get a tropical treat. John Wick 5's plot is someone didn't tip at a restaurant. John Wick's dog starts working at a restaurant. Yeah, everything was pretty good today, ruff, ruff, but um, unfortunately, just this one asshole didn't tip. He pulls up to the McDonald's drive-thru. Buongiorno, Mr. Wick. Habanero sauce? He's like, no, the usual. Ah, lemonade, sir. I get it. I'm with you. You call it back, you remix it a little bit. Everybody says plus two. Meanwhile, my ass is just here making milkshakes. Unable to keep three data points in my head simultaneously. We'll take that. That 98 is criminal. I honestly, <laughs> sorry, I'm spiraling between bits. Somebody saying, what if John Wick ordered the usual, the Aki way? I'm just picturing someone throwing down like a, a like shoulder stock P90 onto the grill. Then you throw the P90 onto the grill. What am I doing? All right, I'm, I'm making milkshakes. That's right. bad day except for the one third of the orders that we totally fucked up that 95 is also i guess you know i'll give him the 95 on that because we the sprinkles are too clustered to the side i got scared of the edges i was playing operation i hate rico's chili works man i can beat the allegations on this one I'm beating the allegations! Oh! <laughs> he did it, he did it. What the fuck?
No, this one's not gonna happen, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> this looks right. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. That's not right. That's right. Gravity? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> you can spin the caps? Oh! I thought I had to get it to like wirelessly transfer. Wildberry derps. You can tell this game's like 15 years old because they don't even have wildberry derpinas. <laughs> wi Fi chili. <laughs> Pardon me. Pardon me. Did you see this thing with the Bud Light and the. Uh... And I'm just trying to get in trouble. Give me the red here. There we go. Something like that. And we're just, I'm, I'm not spinning, I'm just chilling. Are those H2O atoms? Why, did someone order a boneless water? Someone earlier, they said, NL, what's your boba order? My boba order is a, um, Mango, peach, fruit tea. If they give you the option green tea or black tea, we go green tea. And then add pearls, please. Otherwise, everything standard, standard sugar, standard ice, etc., etc. Wow, how do you know your order so well? Because it's what my wife orders. I don't drink boba. I drink soup. It doesn't answer the question. Okay, here's the question. I don't have a boba order. What the hell is a boba? You gotta know what a crumpet is to know what cricket is. That's fantastic. Cherry bomb. He is beating the blind allegations. Wildberry derps on top of that, please. Hey, we just added a new topping. Wildberry derps. Would you like to try some? Hell yeah, you would. <laughs> Shit is pure thorium. <laughs> Did you see the, the Linus Tech Tips thing? Where someone that like shot the video was like, am I gonna be okay? And then the comment was like, hey, be careful with that anti-static bracelet. Those are mostly made of thorium oxide. It's not really a big deal, but if, if any dust ever comes off of it and you inhale it and it gets embedded in your lungs, it will leach ambient um, radiation into, into your body for the rest of your life. I got too many orders, brother. Just give me a second here. I haven't made a, I haven't started a single one yet. Give me a large. Oh wait, have I? Yeah, I've, I've fuck. <laughs> Spit that one out, please. Give me a medium America. That's for you. And then, I, I know you've been waiting forever for your s'more, but just just chill, okay? It's, it's rush hour. I'm in the weeds. The average kitchen on Kitchen Nightmares when a, when a four top comes in at exactly dinner time. I'm in the weeds, chef. That's pretty good. I can live with it. Let me get uh, peanuts and dookie dust. Gotta be honest, it's pretty solid. And they like the asymmetry, you can tell just based on the topping order here. <laughs> you piece of shit. Ordered it asymmetrical, he's mad it's not symmetrical. Get a life. You're not, you're not welcome here anymore. 
Okay, another tropical treat incoming. First though, America pill me. This thing's about to pop too. Just wait for it. You got you got all the time in the world. Okay. Start with the red rocket. That is new tech. That's the Chibli pour. If you enjoyed that pour, say thank you, Chibli. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Good to go. That's gotta be like a 98. 297 points, holy hell. Captain Corey. They got 100 person teams making games half as good as this? I, I'm, you're telling me. Listen, I'm not here, I'm not trying to say games are a one size fit all situation, okay? But like this is, I'm not saying I play 500 hours of Papa's Freezeria, but I'm not playing this ironically. It's at the actual gameplay loop is fun. I feel like most games, especially AAA games, People are like, yeah, the moment to moment gameplay isn't a lot of fun, but it, like at least there's a lot of it. And that's like exactly the opposite of what I want out of a game. Like if it sucks, I want it to be as short as possible. So every every second I play of it is like is is wasting more of my life. You already have a tropical ready to go? You know what? You're absolutely right. It's got a Hollywood. It's got a luau juice. This looks kind of tasty. Rainbow sprinkles. Banana berry banana. Okay. Berry. Banana. Well, you know what? That last one, I guess, is just for me then. This is fair. The 99s are fair. She had to wait too long. <laughs> okay. Pull this one out of there. Domp it. He ordered a tropical treat. Domp it. For free. Now remember, rainbow sprinkles, banana berry banana. Oh, come on. Those are not rainbow? Yeah, okay, lucky charms. You're right, I should not say rainbow because there is a rainbow sprinkle. Ziggy Stardust. a good name I can remember that the crazy thing about Ziggy Stardust is how he played guitar in many ways such as <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's not going anywhere yes I knew him of course I knew him. we were best friends we were very good friends he and I the thing about Ziggy and many people have said this but I'm gonna say it too because it's true the thing about Ziggy is that he played guitar jamming good with something and something and and many people forget this but i haven't forgotten this the spiders from mars today's tip 75 dollars oh baby papa's raceway i got gotcha. you oh you're in trouble now Tone moccasins. Yeah, this one kind of hurts my eyes too, but still. Did your daughter give you the inspiration to play this game? It's so wild to me how many people look down on like a supposed children's game. Bro, they're all children's games. 
Like when your ass is holding down right trigger and like screaming epithets at people in Call of Duty, who do you think you're playing against? You're playing against 14s and like 35 year old dudes who <laughs> wish they were 15. <laughs> There's like two adult games. There's like Sudoku and, and I know you're going to say chess, but it's actually crossword puzzles. Chess is a young person's game. Dude, these guys need to learn how to drive. It's embarrassing. Yo, the jacket kind of goes crazy, though. I got to change my shirt. Sheesh. Okay, let me let me look at these pants real quick. <laughs> it just looks way too much like a diaper, man. It's just... It's kind of sick with it, though. Oh, new sticker unlocked. With the bucket hat and everything. Like Shaggy said, it wasn't me. Ha, ha, ha. How many tours you do a day, man? 25. Aha, ha, ha. This dude is ordering a large drip coffee. Little Eduardo. Honestly, if you're this old, I'm not going to make fun of your order. You've done your time. I don't know what you've been through in your life. I don't know what anybody's been through in their life. But if you're like 22, you might have been through some stuff you might have not. This guy's definitely been through some shit. He can have his fucking 7 a.m. red velvet strawberry 3,000 calorie artery burster if he wants. If this is how, if this is his chosen vice, by all means... <laughs> Now, Okalani, you better stay within the lines, okay? You want a blueberry, pink lemonade. Oh. And that would just chill. Why, why speed it up? It's just the passage of time. Gonna be ticking regardless. And what do you want on it, man? Anything for you. Pink Hollywood? I bet he's got some stories to tell. Little dookie dust? Why not? You know, my doctor says I shouldn't have any more dookie dust. I know. They do be saying stuff like that. And a single cherry. Trying to watch my figure. That's a 100 right there. 98?! Fuck you, little Eduardo! You fucking dickhead! I thought we were kindred spirits! I thought we were on the same wavelength. This dude's like my cherries, uh, you know, one degree off of where it should be. Look at that, we even swapped the tickets. You want a white Hollywood? You like the luau sauce? You like the Ziggy Stardust? Whatever. Banana. Berry. Banana. It's looking pretty good. Look at the, it. It's just like real life. I tried to... <clears throat> I tried to respect my elders. I was met with disrespect in return. I disrespected the youth. They said, that's the greatest... Milkshake I've ever seen in my fucking life. Okay, great intel there. Thank you. Let me get a medium uh, mulberry moon. Pull this one out of there. Blue Hollywood. Call that the Avatar. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this just reminds me of when my parents were here like four years ago. This is the wrong order. <laughs> no! No! This reminds me of when my parents were here four years ago. They didn't know DoorDash was a thing. And we're like, yeah, it's amazing. You can order whatever you want. And then we ordered pizza. And then when the dude showed up, the pizzas were stacked vertically in the box. Like, instead of stacked one on top of one another, they were next to each other, and all four of them were on their sides. And we opened up the box, and it was... It was like, all the toppings and shit was just smashed and crushed into one end of the box. It was so good. It was... It was one of my all-time favorite DoorDash orders, for sure. Still tip though? Well, that's how they get you, because we we tipped before we the order even arrived. Sane <laughs> door dash driver. <laughs> I'm lucky my parents have a, a good sense of humor. Because, you know, if the meal had just been delivered normally, we never would have talked about it again. And now it's like um, a story we tell all the time. Strawberry brownie. Okay, sure. I door dashed McDonald's today and got the wrong burger. Hey brother, don't you know you're supposed to use the app? Let me get a medium moon brownie. And then, you're gonna want a medium America Mulberry. That's not America, this is Strawberry Mulberry. I almost, almost twisted myself up there. <clears throat> Are we far enough from the Harambe situation to admit the zoo handled it poorly? They should have let the kid bite it? There's six billion people, but not that many endangered gorillas. Seems like a fair trade. And a good lesson in accountability for bad parents. Oh, so now letting your kid fall in the gorilla pen at the zoo makes you a bad parent? It must be nice to have never made a mistake in your life. Here's the thing, the zoo's not in the animal business. The zoo is in the... They're in the entertainment business. I think people are going to be less likely to go to the zoo if they know that... Like, if I fall into the gorilla pen, I'm not coming out. <laughs> the gorilla's coming out. <laughs> you know, you're, you, you're paying for the presumption of security to some extent. Like, my ass would just simply not go into the gorilla pen, but I guess I'm smarter than the average zoo attendee. Can you just relax, please, on the, on the alarm? Can we just have, like, an auto shutoff or something? This is right. I don't know why I got stun locked here. It does suck for Harambe, though. I mean, like, dude literally was just in the zoo. And then somebody else makes a mistake. And he gets killed. How is that fair? Right? Wait, was he holding the kid? I don't know. <laughs> Listen. 